Hey, what's up guys? Out here on the 2018 Pivot Mach 6. Man, this thing just came out. Super excited to ride it. Um, I got about 25 minutes of climbing so far on it and man, it climbs a lot better than I thought it would. I'm down here at Outer Bike in Moab. Um, if you guys have never heard of Outer Bike, uh, go check it out, Google it. Pretty much every bike company there is shows up here in Moab and you get a demo bikes for an entire weekend. Uh, it's pretty rad. This trail is called Dead Man. It's, uh, it's labeled as a black and uh, pretty technical, pretty technical trail. Hopefully it's got some high speed stuff here somewhere to try out. just handles everything so well and so far I'm just really digging this bike riding it back to back uh, to the the Mach 5.5 I just rode that one you know two and a half three hours ago and uh, man I just it was too early to tell but I think I like this one better Feels really plush. I just love the way these DW links ride too. Just they never wallow, wallow at all in their travel. They just really sturdy. Yeah, I think I'm liking this better than the 5.5, five, which I was really surprised. I thought that 5.5 five could be the bike to get. Oh crap, where'd I go? Went the wrong way. Dang it. Dang it. Where the heck am I? Well, more climbing. I mean, this is just not cakewalk type climbing stuff. Dead Man Trail in Moab. This is pretty fun. Pretty cool little trail. Okay, looks like I got some downhill here. Man, really technical trail. I want to get this thing out on Jacob's Ladder, my home trails, and see how it does. More climbs, man. This trail just doesn't stop. Okay, I just got word from some other peeps that this trail now starts to go downhill. I've been climbing forever on this bike. Man, that's more than I signed up for. Okay. Kind of loose over hard. Lots of traction. Feel really comfortable just getting forward on the bike. Yeah, that feels good. Of course, more uphill. That's all you get on this trail. <laughs> I don't know where I'm gonna end gotta come down sometime most of the trails I ride guys you climb and then you descend that's about it this is just technical climb after technical climb there we go well for anyone worried about whether or not it was a good climber it's a good climber I don't know I'm gonna get into any flow on this bike today, which is all right. Just means I need to take it out again and ride on a more flowy trail so I can really get a feel for what it's like. This is just a really technical trail, which is still a lot of fun. And uh, maybe a lot of you guys find yourself on trails like this more often than me. Uh, I like flowy trails though. There we 
we go. There we go. That's what we've been looking for. Nice little drop there. Oh yeah, that's more what we're looking for. Yeah, call me crazy, but I feel like this has got better traction than the 5.5. There must be like a monster downhill at the end of this trail. Ah, oh, this is steep. Okay, I promise you guys, I'm taking this bike out again on a flow trail with a lot of speed. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, man, this is a rowdy trail. I'm really glad I did this trail on this bike. Because some of the other bikes would not have handled it nearly as well. Oh, that was awesome. The downhill I've been looking for. Killer B, double black. This better stay going downhill. I've been climbing all freaking day. All right. Come on, GoPro. Please have enough batteries after all that fetching climbing. Sorry to be so negative, guys. I have been climbing forever. All right. Oh, some big rocks. Oh, okay, yeah. Now I'm in the travel. It's nice and supple. Oh, I just love the way DWing bikes ride. This soaks everything up. There we go. This doesn't feel like a double black diamond trail to me. Nice. That's smooth. Very steep grade is what it says. Oh yeah, that's nice. Does it go this way? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's sick. <laughs> oh. Dude, this bike is rad. Down, yep, down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this was worth all the climbing. All right, there we go. Oh, grab a little gear there, Jay. Oh, man, this bike is rad. Really supportive suspension too. Danger, it says. There we go. Oh, jeez. That's a big drop. Oh, lots of exposure here. There we go. Oh yeah, this was definitely worth all the climbing. There we go. <laughs> Get around that switchback. Here's another one. It's all rutted out. Oh man, I'm really glad I grabbed this bike for this trail. That was rad. Sweet. All right, how sick. Well, that was a brutal ride and I'm really glad that I had this Mach 6. Uh, a ton more climbing on that trail than I thought there would be and uh, that descent at the end was just so worth it. Really technical rowdy descent. This bike made easy work of all of it. My name's Jason. I do bike reviews, throw in some trail reviews and kind of just lifestyle type videos in there every once in a while too. Uh, if you liked it, subscribe, check out the other videos we have, and uh, hit the like button. That's how people find me faster on YouTube, and share it with your friends. I um, want to thank Mark and the guys at uh, Western Spirit Cycling uh, for putting on Outer Bike. 
Uh, they have outer bike in the spring and in the summer at Crested Butte, Colorado, and then again in the fall uh, out here at Moab. Uh, if you want to demo some bikes, man, you can get four or five, two or three demos a day for sure in of any bike you want, basically, and maybe four or five. They have shuttle service where you can just go out and earn your turns like I do. I didn't take any of the shuttles. I just came out here and pedaled. But uh, anyway, thanks for riding with me today, guys. Mach 6 was awesome. We'll see you next time.